All right, cheers. Morning. Morning. <laughs> this is Right Now, episode 32. 32. 32. Yes. Today's Monday, April 16th. Morning. Um, it's a ladies' fest yes. today. <laughs> no Brian or Drew. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> just got back from the Atlanta Pen Show. So Brian's, he worked. Are back okay? I haven't seen either of them. Yeah, okay. Drew's, uh, I think he's here. Okay. Brian um, worked really hard. He did not get as much sleep as he should. So he's taking the morning yeah. to get some rest. He had to download all the video footage. And yeah. It's what time did they good. get back? Uh, we met for dinner at like 7. So okay. Yeah. So not too bad, but still. Five this is Margaret, of, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Margaret is our, <laughs> like, here's this person. Yes. Um, who works here, obviously, because she's here. Yes, um, I am. She's our media team manager, so she manages the media yes. team. Yes, you've met some of them. Yeah. yeah. There's Andy, one right there. <laughs> Sarah, Whitney, Colin, Jen, and Lydia. So, so what do you do, Margaret? Fine. So... Besides, like, you know, development reviews and, like, managing yeah. things. <laughs> I really just do my best to support the team, so... They're really the experts in what they're doing on social or photo or video. And so I'm just trying to make sure we have it all together. So, like, what do we need from a video? What do we need from the blog? What are we promoting? Recently, I've been doing a lot of stuff on giveaways. So anytime we've been doing um, a collaboration, just trying to do all the behind-the-scenes stuff. We're doing one right now. I was like, don't we have one yes. right now? A big so one? if you haven't entered for the M600, you can do that. Um, so working a lot of behind the scenes stuff to set that up. So we have a big calendar where everything gets managed and yes. all the to do's and okay, this person does this after this and it's yes. a lot to coordinate. Yeah, but the team's awesome. So that makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Another thing you do is manage our content calendar. So yes. it's what do we promote on each day? So, and as well as the newsletter and kind of heading yes. up. The what, newsletter, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of things we do. <laughs> yes. So how do you decide what we show? Yeah, so the big thing that I try to keep in mind, and so does everyone, is like making sure we have enough stock. So we yeah. definitely <laughs> want to put stuff in front of you as long as you can actually purchase it if you're interested. So we're really trying to vary. Anytime we have a new blog, we're promoting that. Anytime we have a new video, anytime we have a new product, because those are always hot and mm -hmm. people want to talk about them. But then you we're guys trying to know about yes, them. Yeah. But we're trying to put in old stuff too. Sometimes we even forget the content that we've done. Right. Because there's done a so video much on that. <laughs> So definitely trying to reshare stuff if people have found it interesting and um, valuable. Um, and then always trying to offer different things, like making sure we have ink that we're talking about and pens at all different price points. Yeah. Paper. Keeping it balanced and varied. And the thing that I love about fountain pens is that it can be for everyone. Like, doesn't matter your skill, you can get one for $3. So making sure that we make them as accessible to anyone as possible is something that I try to keep in mind with the stuff that we're promoting. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you want to talk about yes. any of the pens you have here? I brought some pens, and Rachel, you actually, I got this case from I you. I did. I got it Because you put it up for grabs, ago. and I took it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't use this particular format. I have a couple other knot cases, but. Um, I actually love this, because love I can colors. hold a lot, and then you can roll it up. So I am guilty of buying special edition colors. Me too. Or pens <laughs> that you can't get anymore, so. so I'm going to show you all yes. the things you can't have. Some of them you can get. Um, I have the dark lilac, which I really love. Um, this has a broad. Nice. Yes. So I'm kind of with Rachel yes. um, in the medium broad camp. I really have like pretty loose handwriting. I mm -hmm. like to write big. Um, so those just work better for me. This is my favorite pen of all time. I have one too. It's my first eco. I, I think that this might be the pen that I recommend to people first. It used to be the Metropolitan, but. As like a first fountain pen? Yeah. I just, I mean, I know it's a, like, it's. You it's have a different Safari, to you have a yes. Metro, you have an Eco. I have the Lux and then MSign, um, and then I got a Merlot, too. The MSign's mm, another first really pen I often forget about. Yeah, and it's such a good price point. You yeah. can get any color. Oh, the but Merlot. I just, <laughs> my, the Eco nib is, like, my favorite thing to write with. I have a medium on this one. I have a broad. Um, oh, I haven't done. Mm. I should try that. I should have grabbed it. But I just love it. Um, now, do you match your inks to your pens? I do not. I'm kind of, like, really? all over the place. <laughs> I like whatever I have at the time to write with, I do. This also is not mine. This is from our library, but I just use it for quote of the day, and it's the broad, and it is amazing. This is California Teal. That's been really popular. Um, I have not tried it yet. And I, here, you want to write with it? You can write California Teal. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> uh, I was like you can't finish your name. Well, you know. And Rachel. <laughs> um, They're going to be like, why is it going to be so different? I just love that. Ooh, it's got good shading. Yeah. Um, I have seen good sheening on the right paper, too. Yeah, oh, there's... You wanna... 
Look at that. Or there something. may be a little bit on this, Claire Fontaine, but the sheen is amazing. The nice thing about demonstrators, um, especially this one that doesn't have any colored accents, is you can put any color in it yeah, and it goes. Yeah. That is one thing that's with my eco. I Sometimes I put a weird ink in there and I'm like, this really clashes with the yeah. turquoise, <laughs> but it doesn't bother me enough to change my habits. <laughs> Um, and then I think this is the stub that I have in the Merlot, and I think I have Emerald of Shavor. I used to love stubs. I still do. I haven't written with one in a while. So it takes more effort for me. It's the angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like it, because I and I got it because I don't own another stub, but I don't pick it up as much as I pick up other pens. Um, it's like the fancy so. occasions. Yeah, which is why I wanted <laughs> to get it, and it's it's really pretty for an ink like that, too. And Merlot. I mean, that was and, super yeah, that special. Was, I was pretty thankful All the jealous I got people. in on that. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is one I kind of forgot I had. We were just talking about it. was a I Kaweco. I have one too. I have that exact same one. It's, it's metallic my only... purple. Like yeah. That was the name of it. It's my only, it's plastic. Yes. Yeah. It's my only Kaweco. I, I don't like it. So <laughs> <laughs> I love the color and I love the size. Mm -hmm. I've had a little bit of trouble with the nib and I just don't keep cartridges with me. So that's like something that's yes. a little bit unique for this pen, obviously. So I haven't used it as much. Um, I, I, I should get mine pretty. back out again. It's just, it's been, so, it, I mean, yeah. when I have so many other, I should just, just like put it in my purse, put a new cartridge, and then it's, I always need a pen at the grocery store. We carry store so whatever, many so. more cartridges than we used to. Yeah. Yeah. I should look into that. And then this or is. Or you can use a syringe and refill, but oh, that's work. I don't have time to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then this is the extra five. I don't even have time to out my own pens. <laughs> um, and I. Got, I have this one, and I don't have any other extra fine pen, so it's really diff it's like difficult and different. Like, I just don't write oh, like I, this. I, I hate extra fines. That's that's a known fact. So I... It's not even an opinion. It's a fact. I'm glad I have it, but I just don't pick it up as much because I feel like I guess my handwriting is scratchy. What ink is that? Um, a green one. <laughs> sea of Tranquility oh, by okay. Colorverse. Yeah. I heard that's a good shader. Of course, extra fine is harder to get that out sometimes, but yeah. So again, does not match the gold. I guess if you're ever writing on like a form or something that has really tiny yeah. lines, you know, extra yeah. fines are helpful. Because sometimes I'm using my broad, I'm trying to sign something, and I'm like, oh, it looks like I wrote with a sharpie, you know, like. Yeah, I like the feeling of writing with a marker. Yeah. Like I, yeah, that like works with my handwriting as opposed to like scratching something into the paper. So. So yeah. we're, we're talking about how we, you know, little time. We're yes. both working moms. Yes, we are. So I got my two. You have your one. Yes, I have an almost 18-month-old. So it's that, very fun. yeah, that keeps your hands yes. very full. Yeah, you like leave work and then you go and you have more responsibilities. Yeah, so second job. It is. And it's super rewarding. I love, I love it. It's such a gift, but it requires a lot out of us, for I, sure. I was going to say, like, I was going to ask about like using your fountain pens as a working mom, and I just don't use mine at home. Honestly. So I really wanted to do Incarimo. I was like, I'm going to write a letter every day. That's ambitious. And it didn't happen. Um, <laughs> I wrote right? a few. Yeah, and I felt like it was really a neat experience. Um, and I wrote a few. I didn't make it the whole month, but that is something like that's a way that I feel like I could use my pens is to send um, a birthday card. We have like a family calendar. I'm like, mm. it's right there in my kitchen. I know when my cousin you know, has a birthday. I just need to actually do it. So that's Instead of I'm, like the Facebook or like setting a bitmoji. Yeah. Like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I read an article recently that said like half of all people haven't received a handwritten note in like years. And oh I was my like, gosh. That is so sad. Like I, it's so cool to receive a note in the mail. So that is something I'm trying to do. Um, when you have like birthday when invitations for, you know. Yeah, them. I could do that. Or thank you cards. That's also something that yes. I think goes a long way. Which you also have to do for your kid until they're old enough. Trying to write, yeah. Get the ones where it's like pre Now that they're like, old enough. Dear so-and-so, thank you for the so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, they could still handwrite it. Um, so yeah, still trying to figure that out. But like my husband uses fountain pens. Okay, um, what does he like? He loves his Twisby Eco. Okay. He had an all-star first, and he's kind of like abandoned the all-star for the Eco. Okay. So, but I think he has an extra fine. Um, so yeah, we definitely have them around the house and try to, you know, obviously pick them up when we need them. You but. don't want the ink near the children. Yeah, that would be <laughs> a disaster. And I mean, I, we embrace inkiness, but like to a point. Yeah, that Not would like be. on the carpet or in the mouth or in the hair. Yes. Or all the places that children get 
sticky thing. That is one quick thing that's happening right now is like he every everything that's on his hands he's putting in his hair. So like breakfast oh. is like eggs and then some hair. <laughs> Today he had like waffles and syrup and I'm like, no, like you just had a bath. So oh, ink no. would be really bad. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably avoid that for a little while. I, kid, I mean our kid I see my kids are like when I'm with Brian, it's our kids. Right. I always say my kids, I'm like, wait, they're your kids too. Right now they're my kids, because I'm not talking to my husband. Um, they're old enough where they really could be using fountain yeah. pens. It just, we, we, we've dabbled, like our son who's eight, he's tried a couple times and he likes it. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know. It just, Do they use pencils mostly at school? Yeah, okay. all pencils. Like they don't use ball points or roller, it's just pencils. I guess you need to erase a lot. So the big thing with the age. kids, and I was talking to someone in Gila Nation this weekend, um, kids, they're just so used to bearing down. Yeah. I think, honestly, all of us are before we yeah. really get used to fountain pens. So that's the biggest thing that, like, I care, you know. Right. <laughs> so, like, I'll give them, like, a varsity or, like, yeah. something that's, like, preppy or um, we had some, like, platinum samples. Okay. The, was yeah. it the platinum? I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. Me either. It was something weird. I don't know. It was a really, really cheap remember. pen. Then I'm like, okay, if it gets ruined, yeah. it's okay. Um, you know, so then then it, it's okay. But yeah. Ha there's a, those gin house shark pens seem kind of cool. I feel like. An eight-year-old would probably love that. Or afraid of it. What are they Either, doing? yeah, that's true. Either <laughs> if one. If it's like pink, then my daughter would be all, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, uh, so the truth is, is I try to use them as much in my real life, but. Real life. Like, this isn't real well, life. Well, I mean, this is real life outside of, like. <laughs> work life. Work life. I use them all exclusively, really, here. I don't even bring YouTube, mine but. home at this point because, and they're all over my desk. It is. Yeah. I had a dream the other night about, like, how messy my desk was and someone, like, overhauled it and they're like this is what you get for not like cleaning up your stuff but I don't know I just it was it was really weird it, I could go and it was a big long thing but then I came in I was really self-conscious like is my desk too messy all my pets are everywhere <laughs> like I have cases but I like to use them yeah well I think if they're in cases and put away I'm like I'm not going to use them like I yeah, like to like have them on my desk too I, I forgot I have when this it like because gets it's just lost in here <laughs> stored away yeah so I definitely have them all over my desk too I do try to take one home over the weekend with me hmm. so in case I want to write a note or write a letter or something I have one with me I should um so I try to do that I just borrow Brian's like well, you have the advantage. He's got like a Lamy 2000 yeah. by the nightstand. There's a Homo sapiens at read. Like he's got her. You, yeah, you have that luxury. <laughs> and then I have health cleaning. So, you know, you it go. does get better. Yeah, exactly. You got to get your husband in on that. Like, all right, I'll let you borrow this if yes. you clean it out for me. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah, it's well, great to have you thanks on. Thanks for having me join. Hopefully yeah. I didn't bomb as a <laughs> You're like, bring Brian back. <laughs> um, yeah, he'll be yeah. back on Wednesday, Wednesday. with somebody. Probably with Drew, maybe, to tell you about Atlanta. Mm. Andy's going to be like, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Because <laughs> they will talk. Yes. As anyone who was there at the show this weekend probably can yeah. attest. But it was good. Um, yeah. yeah. Hope you guys have a good Monday. Absolutely. Right, right on. on.